Hello again folks, um, I'll start off this video by saying that this is a competition time video um, and it is for the 1000 subscriber milestone um, so that means that the prize will be uh, slightly better uh, than the ones I normally send out every 250 subscribers um, but that's all I'll say in it just now, the details of the competition and how to enter it will be at the end of the video um, so the majority of this video is going to be uh, a kit build and it's uh, unsurprisingly an AliExpress kit build um, and you may hate me for this i may lose subscribers over this one um but it is another led heart kit <laughs> yeah i know i know um i have done so many of these in this channel they're just so prevalent they're just always on aliexpress but i thought this one was a little bit interesting and in three days time it's valentine's day so if anything i'm doing you a favor by reminding you of that fact so you can go and get your wife some flowers or uh, get your husband a nice steak dinner and or something like that but yeah that's what we're going to do tonight uh, is build this kit so in, in as unusual fashion, we'll open up, have a look at it, and then build the thing, see how it performs. Uh, so it does come with a USB lead, as you can probably see there. Um, yeah, to a, I don't know what size that is, maybe 2.5mm, something like that, uh, DC plug. Um, and there's not a lot to this kit. Uh, but the reason I bought this is because uh, it's, it's RGB LEDs, but it's not... Um, they're not RGB LEDs as in they've not you cannot have them uh, you, you cannot control which colour comes on the 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 ones uh, the five mil LEDs with a built in chip um, so yeah I thought that might be quite interesting I know Clive did uh, I think was it Clive did a video recently with RGB LEDs um, the slow cycle ones uh, and he just did a big bank of them and and because the you know the you know they're cheaply made and that they don't um, you know they don't stay in time with one another so eventually over time they start to sort of get out of phase and different colors come on at different times and i thought that might be quite a nice effect on this kit so um let's have a look at the pcb i have to say it is a really nice pcb um yeah we've got the blue um solder mask on the back uh, and on the front we've got uh, a white silk screen but the board is is almost translucent as you can see i don't know how well the camera picks that up but it's almost you know well, it is translucent. Uh, you can see the blue shining through. It's quite a nice effect. Um, and they've went to the effort to um, drill. All the empty space has been drilled um, for whatever reason, probably for um, um, cosmetic effect rather than any sort of, um, you know, technical reason, if you like. But yeah, quite nice. So what else do we get? We get um, lots of resistors. Um, what kind are these? Or what? resistance are they uh, green brown brown so that is uh, 510 um, and that tallies up with the, the silk screen there obviously and we've got a couple here uh, brown black orange so uh, 103 so that's 10k and is that marked on there I can't see any 10k's marked on there Hmm. Oh yeah, there's one there. It's in, inside the uh, inside the IC holder. Um, yeah. Um, so in subject ICs, we've got um, it's an 80 mil AT89 S52, which is an 8-bit uh, microcontroller. Uh, it's quite a hefty one um, in terms of size. I just noticed there's a little nick in that there. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons that you know normally these are controlled by you know. Uh, 555 and a 4017 or something like that or a, you know a smaller microcontroller but that's quite uh quite a bit overkill uh for this kit so i'm not sure the effect it gives um we've got our dc socket a couple of uh three ceramic caps electrolytic cap uh we've got a was that four megahertz oh no sorry 12 megahertz uh crystal and a little uh, latching switch um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll stop the video and I will uh, put in all the resistors and then we'll finish up with the, the last few components so if you bear with me I'll catch you in a moment Hi folks, welcome back. Right, that's all the resistors in place and the uh, IC holder or IC socket. I keep calling it a holder, it's a socket. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to stick the LEDs in uh, now. Um, that's them there but I, I thought I'd power one up one just to check the polarity and see what the actual effect is and it's quite a, a, a I don't know if the camera will pick that up but it's quite a random effect it cycles through colours at various speeds and 
different flash cycles and all that good stuff. So it's going to look quite interesting, I think, once it's uh, once they're in the board. Um, so I'll again pause the video and, and get all the LEDs in, um, and then I will restart the video and we'll put the final few uh, components in. So catch you in a moment. Right folks, welcome back. Right, that's us in the final throws of putting this together. Um, I popped the two little uh, ceramic caps in there and uh, as you can see all the LEDs are on. So just the final few components now to go in. So we'll uh, pop the uh, crystal in. Let's see, it's a 12 megahertz crystal. Um, and we will just pop that in like so. If it fits, that is. And there we go. And we'll just gently bend the pins uh, just to keep it in place while we're soldering it. In fact, I don't think that's going to work. I'll just hold it like so. And once you've got the one side tacked up, uh, just fire fire on the other side there we go right now electrolytic cap uh, we've got our anode the longer lead and the cathode the shorter lead uh, so negative the, sh the cathode is negative and that's usually marked by a white line and if we look on here uh, it does show that the positive uh, it, sorry it's got a marking for positive so we'll just pop that in and bend it over um, just to make sure it's going to fit okay and we'll just bend the leads out. Now what we'll do with this one is we'll just um, tack up one side like so. Then we'll apply a little bit of pressure just to bend it into place. And then we can re-solder the, the other side. Like so. There was quite a few extra components with this kit which is unusual. Um, the there was I think three of the LEDs extra. There's sixteen, uh, either fourteen or sixteen uh, resistors left over, uh, and a cap as well. It's, it's very unusual that you get extra components with these kits. But always welcome. Stick in the parts bin. Um, on the the power socket, the DC jack. What I'm going to do is uh, just solder up one of the one of the pins just now. And these will take quite a little bit of solder. Well, that's cool for a second. And then just check the orientation, or not check the orientation, but make sure it's nice and level and it's not uh, jaunty. But that's absolutely perfect, so we don't need to do with that. If it is out of place, uh, what you can do is just reflow the solder and then adjust it and allow, hold it in position and then allow it to cool down. Uh, it just makes a far nicer finish. And the last thing before the uh, uh, microcontroller itself is the switch. Now, uh, I learnt my lesson with these switches uh, when I was building the Christmas tree uh, LED kit. You may have seen me do. Um, and it depends which orientation this is, whether it's on or off. Because if we look at the uh, location where the switch is going to go, there's only two uh, electrical connections uh, actually going to that. And it's the bottom left um, as we look at the silver screen. So basically, uh, when the button is depressed, uh, we want the bottom two left pins. So it might be these ones, or if we rotate it 180 degrees, it might be these two pins. So we'll just check the continuity between those two. Um. Okay, so that's the on position. Uh, so in that position, that is on. That is making uh, the making the circuit or making the switch uh, through those two pins. So we'll pop it in in that orientation. Of course, if you don't suffer from OCD, uh, it doesn't matter what way the switch goes in. It just means that it'll be uh, the button will be on or sorry up or down um, for on or off. It doesn't. Doesn't really matter if that makes sense, um, but yeah, just bend the pin slightly 
to to get it uh, held in place. Try from this side. And again, just check uh, that the switch is nicely positioned and, and uh, at right angles to the next component or parallel to the next component. And then we'll solder up the rest of the uh, connections. Like so, right, that's us. Uh, it's the only thing left to do is put the microcontroller in. Um, I should point out as well, sorry, um, there is um, a link in here uh, between uh, LED 15 and 16, there is a link. So just use a piece of uh, cut off of one of the resistors to, to make that link. Um, this doesn't, uh, I should have mentioned before, it doesn't come with any instructions, so um, just uh, make sure and do that if you're inexperienced. Oh, you're not quite sure what it means. And hopefully that will help you out. So, next thing to do is put the microcontroller in. Um, the bit, uh, pins were slightly bent. I did have a look at them when the video was paused. Uh, but I've straightened those out. And top tip here is if, you, if you're if you putting an IC in, and it, I've already test fitted this and it doesn't fit in. So, what you have to do, or what's a top tip, is just put it on your bench and give it a little gentle bend. It, it folds all the bends of the leads slightly uh, and all at the same time so gives you a nice uh, neat job so um, uh, we've got one notch as you can probably see in the socket there we've got one notch in the silk screen and of course that matches up with the notch on the left hand side there so let's just pop this in and you may need to give it a gentle wiggle to get it in and then just a gentle push and make sure it's nicely seated which that does appear to be. Okay, so the only thing left to do is uh, test the thing. So I've lost my USB extension lead, so I'm using uh, my trusty old Tesco um, cable spool, or cassette extension, whatever they call them these days. Cassette extension reel, there we go. And just using this for a USB uh, phone charger thingy. So we'll pop this in and see what it does. Here it goes. Now that is an interesting effect. Now, um, as you can see there, it's quite, I was gonna say it's quite slow. See, it's not gonna have a, uh, sorry. It's quite fast, um, the sequence it's doing, so the LEDs themselves aren't going to have enough time to cycle through because the uh, duty cycle of each... I mean, in saying that, it is doing it now. Um, I didn't think the, 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 the lights, uh, LEDs would be on that long that it would, um, what do you call it, allow the LEDs to cycle through its colours, but it, it is indeed doing that. I don't know how well that's going to come out on camera, but it is a really nice effect. Yeah, it's it's really quite good. So I I've absolutely no idea um what the program is going to be like inside this. Um, obviously somebody might be watching this video that's got far uh, greater expertise than me that might be able to work it out. Uh, I suppose we could uh, you know maybe dump the program out of it and uh, see what it does. But it's it's got quite a lot of um quite a lot of different sequences and uh, it just seems strange that the it's almost as if those LEDs are being controlled. I don't think they can be. Um, I know Julian Eilert, or Illet, um sorry Julian if you're watching this, I don't know how you pronounce your name. I know Julian did um, a video on Christmas lights that were controlled by just, you know, obviously the LEDs get two two legs on it. Um, and he did do a video on, on uh, LEDs that could be controlled uh, just the way the... Uh, essentially the way the power was pulsed into it so possibly something like that's happening uh, although the leds do function just using uh, you know a sort of three volt supply anyway i'm blabbing blabbering on about this uh, i'll just leave it sitting there and we'll uh, talk about competition time competition time number four as i mentioned at the start of the video uh, thousand subscribers uh, 
better prize, um, all that good stuff. So uh, we'll just keep it as uh, I have done previously. Uh, all I want you to do is put in the comments below, I want to win. Um, and yeah, I will draw that when I hit a thousand subscribers. Um, so thank you very much again to all of you that are subscribing and watching my videos and that enjoy my, my videos. You know, and thanks to people that don't enjoy my videos and give me uh, constructive criticism. Um, but yeah, I appreciate uh, all your all your feedback and all that good stuff. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, obviously give me the thumbs down. Um, and yeah, sorry, I should should say as well. Um, if you want to uh, keep this ball rolling for me and, and get these additional subscribers, uh, subscribers coming in, uh, if there's any uh, uh, electronics, uh, Facebook pages or blogs that you use or, or, or forums, that sort of stuff, please, by all means, share my video. Um, and, you know, it'll, it'll help me out greatly. So, yeah, I am totally rambling on this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you next time. All the best.